hello and welcome back to my channel JS lab so today we are going to learn about the basics of how to handle date and time in R so whether you are dealing with financial data weather data weather patterns or any other time related data set so understanding how to work with that date and times is a crucial skill we we'll learn the basics of the date and time in R using some simple examples. This video will be followed by how to plot this date and time series in R will also be uploaded. So let's start by loading our necessary libraries. So we need library dplyr and lubridate. So if you haven't installed it, please install it initially then load the libraries so I load it so let's start by checking the current date and time using the sys.date function so yeah run it so it will show today's date so if you are interested in the current date and time you can use sys.time let's load it you can see the time and the date so these functions are handy for capturing the current date or date and time in your script so they can be useful uh, when you want to timestamp your data or track when certain operations were performed move on next you can see your time zone so sys dot time zone will display the current time zone so if you click here yeah my current time zone is um, Europe London. So these three functions sys.data, so these three functions sys.date, sys.time and sys.timezone will give you the current date, date and time and time zone details. We will move on. So we will load a sample data set that includes date information using data frame, data.frame function from the dplyr library. So this is the code. So this is the file name, data name. You can see date, data. Using the data dot frame, we are creating a uh, five dates. You can see the dates here. Um, yeah, using this code, we will create the date. Yes, the it one is created in the environment. And we'll uh, display the date. Yeah, so these are the dates. Uh, we that we created so we'll be using this date for many of the um, examples which is following so next is let's explore the format function so for custom formatting of the dates the format function allows us to represent dates in a way that makes sense for our analysis or presentation so in this example we are formatting the dates to show the full month name day and year so let's go ahead and print the uh, formatting so, yeah so see you can see the month name which day and which year so the same dates that we created we format into um, our own custom choice okay now let's um, look into the extracting specific components like day month and year from a date column so let's see how to do how to extract this components so you can see here from our uh, data so we created five dates so from in that we are going to extract the day month and the year from the data set from the date column we are going to extract it and display it so let's run this code and print them yeah so now we have extracted the day month and year so from all the dates we extracted the day we extracted the month and extracted the year so being able to extract components is crucial when you want to analyze data based on specific time intervals or um, if you need to perform calculations on individual components so in th all these cases the extracting the com components like day month and year from the data column would be uh, very useful next we will see the calculating the time difference uh, 
so what is the time gap or time interval uh, between two dates so for that we can uh, we can use the different diff time so here what I've done is the the fifth date minus the first one so what is the uh, uh, gap between the first date that we created and the last one and uh, it, it it will be in days so you can also do it in hours minutes or seconds so here we are displaying in terms of days let's uh, run and see uh, the result yeah so the time difference is 124 days so we have the so difference between the first date and the fifth date is 124 days you can even print this one in hours seconds minutes or even weeks months etc so based on you based on your need now let's see how, how you can generate a sequence of dates so for this we use the seek function the seek function is powerful for creating a sequence of dates so here we are generating a sequence of dates starting from January 1 2023 with a monthly interval and a total length of 5 so you can see here so your starting date is the first January and interval is 1 and a total of 5 okay let's see what happens uh, if you run this code yeah so we have created 5 uh, dates 5 dates with 1 month gap and a total of 5 one, 5 numbers next we'll look um, how to find the weekdays and week numbers of our dates using uh, weekdays and week function so these functions are useful when you want to analyze data based on weekdays or weeks weekdays return weekdays function return the weekdays and the week returns the week number for the given date so this would be good if we are analyzing some data uh, which is related to academics where with uh, where we are dealing with the week uh, all the sub modules and subjects are based on week numbers so let's see uh, so you can see we are creating a week day result using the weekday function in our date and we are also creating a week function and let's uh, run the function and display the results so we can see the five dates that you have created are which day is it Sunday first one is Sunday Wednesday Friday Thursday and Friday and the other week numbers the, it, the first one is the first week of that year the seventh week tenth week and the last one is the 18th week so in this way you can find uh, which weekday is it and week uh, week number is it so let's see with uh, let's load a data and see uh, see some of the functions how it's uh, going to work so I have a data with the name sample date time uh, data dot CSV which is stored in my uh, directory so I'm going to load the data so I load the data and we'll check the structure of the data how to st check the structure of data so yeah it shows yeah the um, structure is data frame it has 240 observations of four variables which are the four variables it's a date uh, time there's a character column and there's a value column so there are four uh, variables of 240 observations next in some cases you need to convert the character to date so the date might be represented in the form of characters so you can use as dot date to convert it into your own uh, way so here I am going to convert it into year month and day uh, month and date so let's run the uh, function and let's see uh, the data so now you can see the year month and uh, day format yes the date is in year month and um, day the time is also year month and day along with the time along with the time so now we'll see how to extract day month and year so in the previous example we have seen how to extract the week day and week number so here you can see uh, how to extract the day month and year so you can extract the day using the day function 
using the month function and the year function and let's run the function and see what the output is run the function we'll see the output um, yeah so you can see the day month and year column so this for example this one is the first day of January 2023 so we have extracted the uh, day month and year from the uh, from each of the date in the uh, data column date column all right so that wraps up our explanation of basics of date and time functions in R so we have covered uh, the basics from getting the current date and time uh, how to find the current uh, time zone so how to extract the components how to perform some calculations and how you how you can generate a data sequence and how you can find the weekdays week numbers and handling missing data missing dates then yeah so the you can practice with all this uh, with your own data set uh, you can also experiment with some more advanced topics like time series analysis so i'll be creating one more video related to time series analysis and how you can plot them so if you found this uh, video helpful please uh, like my video on subscribe for more videos so we'll see in another video bye